Copyright courtesy National Coal Mining Museum for England Coal miners were frequently at danger from explosive mixtures of methane gas in the atmosphere of the mine. At the beginning of the 19th century, pressure mounted to find an alternative to naked flames that would provide adequate and safe light to enable miners to work underground. In the end, two of the period's finest mines raced to produce the first safe lamp for the mining industry. The Davy Lamp, the Davy Lamp. Copyright The National Coal Mining Museum for England Sir Humphrey Davy successfully tested his prototype safe lamp at Hebburn Colliery, Tynham Weir, in early January 1816. Davy found that flame could not pass through the small apertures in fine gauze, meaning the flame inside the gauze would not ignite the gas in the atmosphere outside the lamp. Davy was one of the most celebrated scientists of his day and his discovery, based on scientific principles, became the foundation for most flame safety lamps that followed. The Stevenson Lamp The Stevenson Lamp Copyright The National Coal Mining Museum for England At the same time that Davy was working on a design, George Stevenson had been creating his own lamp based on mechanical principles. While Stevenson later became well known for his work with locomotives, at the time he was an engineer and engine right from High Pit, Killingworth in Northumberland. His lamp used fine tubes and an internal glass to separate the flame and the atmosphere, and was frequently championed by miners from the northeast. The Clanny Lamp The Clanny Lamp Copyright The National Coal Mining Museum for England A long-term worker in this field, the Dr. William Reed Clanny, continued to refine his ideas on lamps after both Davy and Stevenson had moved on to other work. The culmination of his research was the invention, in 1839, of the lamp that now bears his name. The gauze around the flame was replaced with glass, both increasing the amount of light and shielding the flame. The Moosler Lamp The Moosler Lamp Copyright The National Coal Mining Museum for England A significant lamp emerged from Europe soon after the Clanny Lamp was introduced. The Moosler Lamp was designed by a Belgian engineer, Mathieu Louis Moosler, in 1840. The lamp was similar to Clanny's but, by adding a conical internal chimney to aid the airflow within the lamp, Moosler reduced the tendency for the internal glass to become sooty and so gave a clearer light. The Marsort Lamp The Marsort Lamp Copyright The National Coal Mining Museum for England In 1882 Jean Marsort, a French mining engineer, adapted a Moosler lamp by replacing the internal chimney with a second conical gauze and added a bonnet to protect the gauze. The lamp was highly praised and many manufacturers went on to produce their own variations on what became the blueprint for the modern mining lamp. The Klaus Hydrogen Lamp The Klaus Hydrogen Lamp Copyright The National Coal Mining Museum for England Soon after the introduction of the safety lamp underground, miners noticed that its flame changed if there were gases in the atmosphere. In the late 19th century, lamp makers began to develop dedicated gas testing lamps, such as the Klaus hydrogen lamp, that would give more sensitive readings of methane levels. The electric cap lamp Electric cap lamp Copyright The National Coal Mining Museum for England In the 1890s electric hand lamps were being developed and by the 1920s, the electric cap lamp began to take over as the miner's main light source. To compete with the strong light produced by the new electric lamps, makers started to produce high candle power lamps. These were larger lamps, often with elaborate bonnets, that produced considerably more light. The Flame Safety Lamp Flame Safety Lamp Copyright The National Coal Mining Museum for England As electric lamps became the standard lighting equipment, flame safety lamps were still used to test for gas. Deputies were required by law to carry a flame safety lamp and an electric safety lamp during their pre-shift checks. Garfith Lamps The Garfith Wolf FG Lamp Copyright Courtesy National Coal Mining Museum for England The Protector GR6S Copyright courtesy National Coal Mining Museum for England The final development in flame safety lamps came when Protector and Wolf, the last major flame safety lamp manufacturers, produced their Garfith lamps. The Wolf FG and the Protector GR6S were the result of many years of lamp development and research. By the 1990s, Protector had become the main supplier to the British coal mining industry.